Hey guys, have breakfast with me. It's actually brunch or lunch. Um, I usually have Alexa tell me every day at 11.30 it's time for lunch. Actually, she does it at 12. And 11.30 is honeys. If I haven't fed her yet, I like to make sure that, you know, I don't go past 11 o'clock. And so um, that's why she eats with me every day. Why is this not working? Okay. I hate to use the ring light because it's such a pain in the ass to get it to, um, you know, just set up. But yeah, right now I'm going to have my breakfast that's late, kind of. It's late because um, I kind of woke up heated this morning over, like, all the crap that I read yesterday on YouTube. And I know it sounds insane that that's all I do, but, you know. What are you going to do? That's what I do. Okay. I'm trying to find a good angle. It doesn't look good. It's kind of making me mad. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on in my life right now. After lunch or breakfast, which is breakfast because... Um, I got a late start because I did a video for you guys this morning. <laughs> yeah, about the shot show, right? Because it's a shot show. People are making videos, so they're filming it. They're taking shots, right? So after my lunch brunch, I'm going to um, log on to the Kaiser app and uh, get ready for my five o'clock group grief counseling session because I've had quite a few deaths this year in my life. Two of those deaths were um, immediate family, non-COVID related. And then two additional deaths are COVID related and they are my cousins or my second cousins or, or they would be my mom's cousins. Um, it's been a really, really tough year for me. And I work really hard on my health, my well-being. And to keep, you know, these, uh, these events that have surfaced all of a sudden in my life because um, of the circumstances of what, you know, has transpired over this year, right? And so that's, what go what, that's what's going on. So I got a sign on at 2. And then I got to wait three hours for the counseling session, which means I got to make up, hair, and change my clothes. Um, I had thought about going to the beach today, but I can't really get ahead of myself that much because um, I can't believe I forgot about my grief counseling, uh, you know, session today at five o'clock and I really 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 need to be counseled on grief because like I said I've had some tragedies occur this year in my life and to say that when you're going through tragedies the it puts things into perspective is just an understatement I mean it really does you know so Um, you know, I mean, I'm just here trying to help other people out that might be, you know, suffering the same type of, you know, <coughs> excess feelings of unwellness that are obviously going to trigger other, you know, psychological aspects of past traumas and 
it's important to identify and to learn from all of these different things. So on that note, um, I'm probably going to be uploading quite a few videos today because, you know, you got to document everything. And this is one of the things that you document. Okay, why isn't this light working? Let me see. Let's see if that one was working. Let's see if two, because I got two lights on me now, so that, that's a little bit better, but not really. Okay. So, um, so yeah. Okay, that's what's going on in my life. I, uh... <laughs> I just hope that I don't give you a bad taste when it comes to how honest I am and I hope that you learn something about like you know putting your feelings together and then putting them out there when it has something to do with um, your wellness and how you can educate others on what not to do you know don't do this what they did to summer and Candace, don't do that. Don't do that as a congregation and as a Robin Sunday school teacher. Don't do that. Because the ramifications of what you've put yourself right in the middle of will come back time after time. And they will bite you in the ass. And this is a warning to you because a lot of the times when people cover these types of subjects, you know, I mean, what can I tell you? All word is inspired of God, which means that if you're out there and you're talking about it, yeah, something shoved you and pushed you there. What, what was that that did it for you? And why are you covering the Summer Wells case? Let's talk about you. Stop talking about the family. Let me hear what you have to say and why you're so passionate about this. Because I'm curious. I want to know. And I bet you so does TBI. So, I'll let you know what my grief counseling session was like. And I will be uploading more videos on daily activities of life, in my case. And I hope that at the end of the day, you come away from this feeling not uneasy, but with more of an understanding of why people do what they do. So um, I apologize if my last video was a little bit, you know, disconcerting because I was so um, angry. I know my husband said something like, uh, you know, you're so angry. And I was like, I am angry. I'm angry because of what they did, you know? I'm angry that they've manipulated this woman the way they have. And then they put, like, a church stamp on top of it. And then tried to, you know, put a nice Robin Lane bow on it. I'm pretty fucking angry. And when I'm angry, I curse a lot. And I think that's how he knew that I was pretty fucking angry. So, yeah, at the end of the day, you know... At the end of the day, it's not about the YouTubers. It's really not. It's about what TBI has to deal with because of their meretricious acts, right? And I mean, I've got 57 subscribers. I don't give a shit, right? What are they gonna do, demonetize me? I'm not even monetized. So I'm gonna say it, okay? This is an act of prostitution. You're putting out content for financial gain at the detrimental effect that it's having on an entire family and community, right? And I'm sorry about Mary and Jeannie and Trish. I really am. But I could give a fuck about them. This is about summer. And them trying to jump on the bandwagon to better their looks, right? On social media. 
is pretty vile. And who in their right mind? We know Chris McDonough is not in his right mind because he's jumping right on the bag wagon. And I get America, you know, is this land of opportunity. Yeah, I get it. But I'm here to let you know that we can see you and, and you don't look good. It's not a good look. It's not a good look and it's not cute. So go and get something else out of your life. But stop blaming the family when Robin went on a fucking stage and told you what was going to happen to that kid. And TBI, I'm pretty sure they're onto her and there's nothing they can do. Because these kinds of underground organizations run deep. And kids are their number one priority. They lie. They say that they're organizations for kids. But you gotta wonder about those people. These people are doing it internationally. And they're getting money for it. So the motivation is not the kids. It's the funds. Everybody can do it. Everybody goes on that bandwagon and everybody wants to fuck the system and this is what they do. End times, I mean, look at the Seven Day Adventists. They say we're in the end times and everybody's gonna get to see their loved ones at the resurrection. Isn't that what they told Don? It's okay, Don. We'll take care of her. We'll save her if you keep her. The authorities are going to come and take her. And then you'll never see her because there's a pedo ring. And what they're talking about is that thing's probably infiltrated right straight in the government. Because that's the narrative that they want you to know. So, to say I'm pretty pissed, yeah, that's not, that's putting it mildly. I'm pretty pissed. I'm fucking mad. Okay? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I suggest you go into my channel and you look at some of the videos that I've done. Because you'll learn everything you need to know there. So, good luck and good fortune. Like and subscribe to my channel. Share the video if you need to. Share any videos that you need to. They are for entertainment purposes. I'm an entertainer. And I'm here to educate you as a nurse, as a public health nurse in the state of California. And I don't care if you live in bumfuck Egypt and my laws don't pertain to you. I really fucking don't, okay? You would be doing yourself a favor if you watched anyways. Uh, <laughs> Life is short, remember that.